All right, so till now what we have done so far, we have installed the Vault server and as well as we have started the Vault server into the development mode. So the next thing which we are going to do, we are just going to perform some operation using the command line interface of Vault. And the operation which we are going to perform is the read, write and delete. So using this operation, we are just going to insert or we are just going to write the secret. We are just going to fetch or to read the secret as well as when we are done with all this, we are just going to delete the secret which we have uh, written previously. So here onto the screen, you can see I have written some example command for read, write and delete. But I'm just going to explain each command in more detail. Let's start with the first command that is the write command. And here you will see the command start with the keyword vault. So this is the first thing which you need to write over here whenever you're using the command line interface of your world. The second thing is you need to define uh, like what kind of a secret you're going to store. So here we are just storing the key and value. So key K and V is the abbreviation for a key and value. So that's why you need to mention what kind of a secret you're storing. So that means you're storing key value pair. Second, uh, we are just going to write. So that's why we need to mention put over here so that you can uh, uh, give the instruction to our vault that we are just going to write this secret into our uh, vault server. Second, you need to define the path where you are going to store these secret. So this is the path. Uh, this is a custom path. You can write any path of your choice. So here I have written a path my slash path. So this is the path uh, where our secrets will be stored. All right. The next thing is the actual value. And since we are using the key value pair, so we need to define a key first and then its value. So here you will notice this is the key and this is the value. So this is the key uh, for our secret and this is the value for our secret. So this is the uh, typical syntax of our HashiCorp uh, write or a put operation. There's also one more important concept of a secret engine in the HashiCorp world. So if you notice over here in this uh, write command, we have mentioned the path over here. This is the path. So whenever you specify a new custom path, so this is my custom path over here. So if you are working with the HashiCorp world and if you need a new custom path, then you need to enable this custom path into the secret engine. I'm just going to show the command to enable that. So here, if you notice over here, so this is the command for enabling the uh, path for inside your secret engine. So this is the command, how it starts with the vault. Then you need to specify secret. Then you need to specify the keyword enable, and then you need to specify the path. So this is the thing which you need to mention inside your uh, HashiCorp server so that it can enable that particular path inside your secret engine. And apart from that, you need to mention what it is. So it is a key value pair kind of a secrets which you are planning to store. So this is the important command which you need to run before you uh, start writing or inserting your secret. Let's switch over to the terminal. And this is my terminal. And the first thing which I'm just gonna start, I'm just gonna enable the path in my secret engine. So this is the command which I'm just gonna run. So that will enable the path my. So here you can see this is the successful message which I got. After that, I'm just gonna insert my first secret key value pair. And here you can see uh, success message and the data written into the path my slash path. Now, after writing like how to read the secret from our HashiCorp vault. So here you can see you know, onto the uh, screen, this is the command vault, key value, get and the path name. So this is the command which I'm going to use. So I'm just talking about this command. Okay, so I'm just going to get back to my terminal once again. And I'm just going to make some space and hit enter. And here you can see, uh, I'm just trying to read the secret stored at my slash path. There is also one more cool feature uh, of our HashiCorp vault. You can read the secret in the JSON format also. And the command for that is, I'm just gonna clear the screen over here and paste the command over here. So here you can see this is the output in the JSON format. So what you need to do is vault key value get and you need to specify the format JSON after that the path where your uh, key value or the secrets has been stored. So this is how you can generate uh, the output in the JSON format as well. 
All right, so now we have seen the write operation, we have seen the read operation, and also we have seen how to enable the path in the secret engine. So the next command which we are gonna see is the delete command, how we are going to delete the secret from the vault. But before that, there is also one more important concept or one more important command to list all the available secrets at particular path. So uh, I'll just go back to my terminal and I'm just gonna run command vault secret list. So here you can see these are the paths which are defined uh, inside my secret engine. So here you will find my path also. So this is the my custom path which I have created. Apart from that, these are the default one. So the, this is secret, this is sys, this is identity, and this is cubby hole. So these are the four, the other four, which by default created by HashiCorp server. And apart from that, if you run this command, vault secret list, then you will find all the available path which are defined inside uh, your vault server. So this is how you can uh, run this command to view or to list all the secret path available into your HashiCorp server. All right, let's run the delete command uh, so that we can delete the secret which we have created. And the command for that is vault uh, key value that is kv delete and the path that is my slash path and it will delete the secret which we have created previously simply hit enter and as you can see this is the success message and the data has been deleted from my path and just to verify let's run the get command once again to read the same uh, secret which we have just deleted so just simply hit enter onto your terminal and here you can see uh, no value found at my slash path. That means we have successfully deleted our key value secret which we have stored previously. All right, so now you know like how you can read, write, and delete the secrets from your HashiCorp Vault server. In the next session, we are gonna talk more about the secret engine and we will be taking a look how to enable the AWS secret engine, how to enable and disable the key value pair secret engine, and some more commands to manage the secret engines.